Hi guys, I'm Eileen. Today, I want to do an updated video about why I don't buy Chanel anymore. In fact, my last purchase from Chanel was about three and a half years ago. I still browse the Chanel website now and again, and when I'm in the area, I'll drop by Chanel as well just to have a look. But generally, I don't see the appeal as much anymore. Now, I know a lot of people still adore Chanel. So I just want to say this is just my personal take about the brand. So I hope no one takes any offense. Anyway, I don't get a lot of the Chanel hypes anymore. For example, the Chanel 19, which has been really popular. In the past, I would desperately call every Chanel store to try to order something. But now I don't have the motivation to even pick up the phone anymore. It's almost like I've lost interest in Chanel. And now without further ado, let's get right into the video. First of all, I thought this would be the perfect time to show you my entire Chanel collection, which is fairly minimal, but they work really well for me, so I'm really grateful. I have six pieces in total. The first one is this small Chanel classic double flap in the very timeless black caviar leather and gold hardware. I also have a the classic card holder in the exact same combination. Then I've got a, a Chanel mini flap in the black pattern leather and silver hardware. I use this piece a lot when I travel because uh, I can wear it crossbody and it's a very nice and small size. Moving on, I also have this Chanel mini old case in the beautiful blue color. I use this piece as my daily wallet. And the next two pieces are the brooches. So the first one is a plain brooch uh, with no stones. And the second one is quite a bit smaller with some crystals on it. So yeah, that's my entire Chanel collection. I used to own quite a bit more from Chanel, but in the last five years, I've sold four handbags because they didn't work out for me, including a Chanel wallet on chain, two Chanel boy flaps and a seasonal flap. I still think Chanel pieces are beautiful, but in terms of handbags, I just feel like Hermes and Louis Vuitton pieces tend to work better for me. So after buying and selling so many Chanel items, I kind of lost passion for Chanel pieces. Part of me also decided that Chanel might not be the best fit for me. So that really is the first reason why I don't feel the temptation as much anymore. The second reason I don't buy much from Chanel now is because I don't want to buy anything because of the fear of missing out. Again, I've sold four Chanel handbags from a collection, all of which I pretty much bought on impulse because of the fear of missing out. I'm sure some of you know, everything at Chanel sells out really quickly. So I used to think if I didn't act fast, the item would be gone. I personally don't have an essay at Chanel, so if I come across something I like, usually they will only hold the item for a day or two. Sometimes after two weeks, I might decide I wanted the bag after all, but by then the item was gone. Occasionally, the essay would ask me if I would like to request a transfer from other Chanel stores, but I don't think they do this for all the pieces, especially those in quite high demand. So for me, everything is moving so quickly at Chanel and I don't think I can keep up. Now with Louis Vuitton, you can pretty much see all the collections on the website. So even if an item is not available, you at least have some time to do some research before putting yourself on the waiting list. With Hermes, a lot of the handbags are quite hard to come by anyway. So if I get a bag, usually it's because I put in the request months ago. So it's something I wanted anyway. Or sometimes my essay would email me to say a bag has come in and if I would like to go in to have a look. So I feel like I have some time to consider the purchase. With Chanel, however, they don't display all their collections on the website. So for example, you can't really see all the colors, ladders, and sizes for the seasonal collections. So sometimes I will go in the store and see something I wasn't even aware of. In the past, I might think, wow, this looks nice and I would really like to have it. And the next minute, I would take out my credit card to pay for it. Whereas now, the idea of not knowing beforehand puts me off a bit because 
I no longer want to commit to any impulse purchases. Another reason why I don't buy Chanel anymore is because of the price increase. I've done a video about this topic before and it seems like a lot of people feel the same way. Now, I'm sure we all know inflation is a very real thing in life and it's certainly not something new for luxury goods. Hermes handbags, for example, see an increase of about 10% every year. For a lot of luxury houses, the price increase is also more drastic when it comes to their best-selling items. For example, I bought uh, my Lady Dior bag and the Chanel Classic flap around the same time and over the last 9 years, the prices for both pieces have more or less doubled. So I guess you could say Dior is actually following Chanel's footsteps when it comes to inflation. However, as far as the classic collections go, Chanel pricing is still quite a bit higher. A Chanel jumbo flap now costs over £6,000, so it is getting very close to Hermes pricing. Whether one or the other is more worth your money is a very personal choice. But just to put things into perspective, Hermes handbags, for example the Birkin bags, are usually handmade and the hardware is also 18 karat gold plated. Whereas with Chanel pieces, even their classic double flaps are actually machine made, which means the stitching is actually done with machine. And as from 2008, the hardware is also no longer gold plated. I personally think these factors have not been reflected fairly onto the pricing by Chanel. I still think the Chanel classic flaps look very versatile and timeless, but I just can't justify paying that much for them anymore. I'm not sure if you could relate to this, but Chanel's price increases used to give me a false sense of security. I would justify an impulse purchase on the ground that I could sell the item for a good price in the future. And sometimes that might just be the case because I did sell my Chanel wallet on chain for a small profit. But you do have to consider if all this is worth your time, energy and attention. While we're talking about pricing, I just want to say all luxury handbags are expensive anyway. So if you truly love something from Chanel and you think it will serve you well, it might actually be worth your money. I personally think it doesn't do any harm to keep your options open, especially because there are a lot of beautiful handbags out there. But if you're spending thousands of dollars on the bag, you need to get your perfect one. I've been there myself and I can honestly say settling for a bag that you don't quite like to save money is never worth the money or your effort. On that note, I just want to share my experience and hopefully that will help some of you. So years ago, I really wanted to add a Chanel mini flap to my collection. So I was looking everywhere for one in black pattern leather and silver hardware, like the one I have now. However, after spending a lot of time looking for one, I grew very impatient. So one day I was at Dior and I came across the Lady Promenade flap bag in the grey pattern leather. And immediately I thought to myself, this could be the perfect alternative to the Chanel mini flap. I mean, the size was comparable, the craftsmanship was lovely, and the customer service was amazing. So I bought the bag, but deep down, I still really wanted a Chanel mini flap. And you know what? A few weeks later, Chanel actually released this mini flap, and I was over the moon. And I feel like because I bought the perfect mini flap, I could now stop looking for more. Sadly though, I never reached for the Dior bag and I had to sell it at a huge loss. So yes, Chanel is expensive, but if you truly love something, that might just be the happy ending you need. Moving on, another reason I don't do a lot of shopping at Chanel now is because I've not been feeling very excited about their newer collections, such as the Chanel Boy, Chanel Gabrielle and Chanel 19. I quite like the Chanel Coco handle bags, but my favorite is still the classic collection. For me, the Chanel classic flaps are still one of the best looking flat bags, but I never feel the need to own them in a selection of different colors. You know, sometimes when I go into a Chanel store, I will see these classic flaps in all the different beautiful seasonal colors, but I no longer have the urge to try them on or bring them home. 
I guess you could say I'm a bit turned off because I know how much they cost now. Anyway, when I drop by a Chanel store, it almost feels like I'm browsing in an art gallery because even though everything is beautiful, I don't necessarily want to bring things home. Having said that, I did go through a period where I was eyeing on every Chanel square mini flap, but because these bags are really hard to come by, after a while, I kind of lost patience and interest. At the moment, the one bag I would love to have in different colors is the Hermes Birkin 25 because I truly enjoy the design and the silhouette of this bag. In terms of leather choices from Chanel, I usually prefer their caviar leather. Not just because it's durable, but I also really love the finishing and the texture of this leather. For me, the lambskin from Chanel is very supple and luxurious, but it's just a bit too delicate for me. When I buy a luxury handbag, I just want to enjoy it without too much worry. So even if I really like the design of a certain handbag, the fact that it comes in lambskin straight away is a deal breaker for me. So in a way, my options are fairly limited because there have been times when Chanel only released the mini flaps in lambskin. So in that case, I usually just look no further. It's a bit like how I usually avoid the Vachetta leather from Louis Vuitton and the box leather from Hermes. So if you ask me, this is a prime example of how being selective can save you a lot of money. So those are the reasons I don't buy Chanel anymore. And to be honest, I don't feel like I'm missing out. At the current pricing, I think I will really, really have to love something to justify paying for it. And in the last few years, I've not really come across anything that I desperately want to add to my wish list. Nevertheless, I still enjoy seeing Chanel pieces on other people, especially the very timeless and beautiful Chanel tweed jackets. I think they look so lovely, but as timeless as they are, I don't think I will ever pay £5,000 for a piece of ready to wear. So for the time being, I'm quite happy to just admire them from afar. Anyway, I would love to know if you think Chanel is still worth buying and if you have any luxury items from Chanel on your wish list. So please share a comment down below. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.